Hello guys, uh, this is Shaw and today I'm going to show you how you can upgrade your Droidbox T8S by using the OTA updater application. So you can see right now I have started my Droidbox T8S and I'm on the home screen of my Droidbox T8S. I'm going to perform an upgrade on, the, on this box by using the OTA updater application. The OTA updater application can be found in your apps so I will go into my apps by clicking on the circle with six dots here and uh, right now I'm using the KitKat Android version on this box as I've already showed you 4.4.2 so I'm going ahead and checking uh, okay here is the OTA updater application I will click on it and I will go into it so once I'm into it it gives me the information about my device and it has also given me a pop-up notification that a ROM update is available. So this update will update your ROM DBX TAS OTA to version 3. So version 3 is available for my box right now. Okay, I can go ahead and click download, but I will just click cancel for now and we will check the information that is showing behind this pop-up bar uh, and then we'll go ahead for the download of this ROM version. So you can see it is showing me a Droidbox T8S, DBX T8S. ROM version is ROM is KOT uh, 2051031 and ROM version 1. So right now I have ROM version 1 and the download that it was showing me is the uh, here you can see new updates version 3. So right now I'm on version 1 and it will update if I download the update and then install it, it will take me to version 3. So and let's check this uh, options here the three dots if I click on this okay we've downloaded ROM settings about donate refresh and exit so if I go into settings okay nothing important here so we'll go ahead and we'll click on this available updates option I'm tapping on it right now and it is showing me uh, the same notification bar and I'm going ahead and clicking on download so I'm clicking on download and it is right now downloading uh, the OTA update on my box. So we'll need to wait till this download finishes and then we can go ahead with the rest of the process. So you can see the download has completed now and now it is showing two options right now. Uh, one is wipe data and the other one is wipe cache. So uh, I will go ahead and select both of them. That is, I will I will tick check wipe data option and also wipe cache. So both of them are tick checked, and uh, then I will hit the install option. And click OK now. Installing the file will reboot into recovery to flash the zip file. After installation, the system will automatically reboot. So that's okay, and you will hit install. I'll click OK on it, and it is showing installing will reboot into recovery. That is okay, and we will hit the install option again. It is rebooting the device. So you can see the uh, Android man has appeared and the flashing process has started. So we need to wait a little till this Android man process finishes up. So the box is booting up now. Okay. Just a few more minutes and we'll see the home screen. and I'm going to click on next then I will again click on next again on next and here it shows to choose your network Wi-Fi or Ethernet you can select whatever you want and set it up but I will set it up later so I will just click finish for now okay here we go so you can see this is the latest uh, drive box T8S um, launcher home screen and uh, you can see the box has updated to the latest firmware and uh, it has a different look 
a different larger screen and uh, you can see it has all the latest applications control center market Brightbox share open a and everything so we have the latest firmware up and running on our Brightbox D8S thanks for watching this tutorial take care for now bye bye